you guys, I'm Ashley Mova. Today I did this 4th of July glam look, but seriously, it's good for any day of the year because it came out super glam. I put my hair in a ponytail because it kind of did the balance of, you know, I'm going to the barbecue, it's the 4th, we're so laid back, my hair's in a ponytail, but look at my face, it's really extra. So if you want to get this 4th of July glam look with me, let's do this. Starting off, I've got some Smashbox primer and I'm taking that all over my face. I'm assuming that if you're gonna be outdoors and like you're at a barbecue or something, you want your makeup to last all day long and you're gonna be sweating your ass off too because it's summertime. I'm in a robe because I don't even know what I'm gonna wear yet today. And my robe isn't even cute. You know when people do their makeup in their robes and like their robe is cute? I gotta, I gotta get like strong on the robe game. So far, my robe game is weak. I'm going to take my Milani Perfecting and Seal. Seriously, this foundation is absolutely amazing. I keep coming back to it, I just can't help myself. I mixed in some of my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, and I just mix those two together in my hand, and I'm pushing that into my face before I go in with my Beauty Blender. I heard that this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector smells like ass once it gets old. Please let me know if that's happened to you, because I've gotta like mentally and physically pre prepare myself for when that day comes. This foundation blends so nicely, it's almost like you don't even have to go over it with a sponge, but I just like to go over it just in case. But seriously, it blends amazingly well. Going into brows, I'm gonna be using my brow powders by The Brow Gal. I'm gonna use the darker one for my tail and the lighter one to do the front of my brows. Seriously, I'm obsessed with this. I got this in my BoxyCharm, I think it was, last month, and I've already broken the top. So the packaging isn't too fabulous, but the product is amazing. I'm gonna carve them out and prime my eyelids at the same time I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and the color light because for this look, I really want some sharp bada bing eyebrows. So I want my carve out to be super crispy. Can I just say that since carving out eyebrows has become a trend, that I have saved so much money in threading my eyebrows because I'm such a hairy monster that I used to have to get my eyebrows threaded like once every like two to three weeks. But now I just put concealer over them and nobody even knows the difference. So for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use my Carly Bible palette. I'm just gonna define the creasy teeny weeny bit with this like natural brownish eyeshadow. It's not too different than my natural skin color, but I just wanted to define it a tiny, tiny bit before I go in with a more intense color. Okay, that was nothing life-changing, but I just wanted to define it before I went in with this color, which is like a really, really metallic-y gold, and I'm gonna take that all over the lid. I'm gonna use the lightest color in the palette. Yeah, that is the lightest color in the palette. And I'm just going to highlight my inner corners before I go in with some liner and lashes. Time for some liquid liner before I do the lashes. I always do this before I do my lashes because it kind of hides the strip. And if there's one thing I've learned by doing these videos, it's that homegirl needs two hands to do a liquid line, so wish me luck. For lashes, I'm gonna use the Kiss Lashes in number 11. I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube lately complaining about like false lashes and how Makeup tutorials use a lot of false lashes and stuff, and like, I totally get that. I recently just started to wear fake lashes all the time, but the reason I do wear fake lashes now often is because it's just so much easier to take off fake lashes than it is mascara. Like, when I come home after a long day, the last thing I wanna do is scrub away mascara for an hour, especially because I layer that baby on real thick because I really like a dramatic lash look, so it's just so much easier to like take off lashes at the end of the day, but Whatever suits your, whatever floats your boat, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna be using fake lashes today and they're the Kiss, kiss Lashes in number 11. I can't decide if I wanna put mascara over the fake lashes and be super extra, which I probably most likely will because I am that extra, but first let's do some concealer. Uh, I wanna look super highlighted and bright underneath the eye because I think that looks really pretty with a bright lip. So I'm going to take mostly my Shape Tape in the color light. Holy moly, that is super bright, but I'm going to compensate with a buttload of bronzer. There we go, blend it out, it's not that shocking, but when I first put it on, I was like, uh, rewind, like take two, but it's better now that it's blended. 
I'm setting my under eye with the Kat Von D Locket Brightening Powder. It's super bright, but that's the look I want. I keep reassuring myself that it's gonna come out right, but I swear it will. <laughs> gonna add some more mascara just to make things a little bit more dramatic. I'm also doing my bottom lashes too, but just on the outer little edges of the eye. I'm gonna do my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer just to start to warm the face a little bit. This bronzer smells so good. It makes me want chocolate milk every time I open it. It's delicious smelling. Guys, I was literally just about to move into highlight when I dropped my baby, my Mary Lou Luminizer, and I'm so scared to open her. Oh my God, she survived. She survived. She survived. Ah, oh, she's so beautiful. Okay, so for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Mary Luminizer. Oh my God, that scared me so badly. And now that I look at it, um, my inner corner highlight's looking a little bit pink and I want it to look a little bit more yellow, if anything. So I'm just gonna go over that with the Mary Luminizer a little bit. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Before I put my lip on, I'm going in with my Cover FX spray. That stuff will eat your sweat and put it to shame because it makes your makeup last all day long. And now it's time for the statement lip. I'm gonna use the Liquid Cat Suit in Missy and Fierce by Wet n Wild. Every time I wear this, I get a buttload of compliments and it's seriously the best red lipstick I've ever used. And it was $5, amazing. On that note, I'm gonna exfoliate a little bit. <laughs> Cute. Okay, final look. I'm seriously loving how this came out. I got a little bit worried there with the concealer when it was like a little bit too bright, but it all came together in the end. I'm so excited to rock this for the rest of my day, even though it's not the fourth. I'll rock it tomorrow too. What are you guys doing for the fourth? Please let me know and please make sure you thumbs up the video. Please make sure you subscribe. I hope you guys have a really safe fourth of July. That's the most important thing in this. I hope you have a safe fourth of July. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.